people doesn't understand it, so it's, it's very strange for some people to do that. Um, how I noticed that I was adapting, um, I could hear slow music. <laughs> really, when I was doing the adaptation for process, really when I put on some slow music, I was like, mm -hmm. so I was like, okay, back some doom, doom, loud, fast music. Uh, and then one day I realized, oh, I can, I can hear slow music. Cool, it's no problem anymore. Uh, I could da lay down and relax without falling asleep, so that was also very nice because before uh, the adaptation you're like, you just lay down and you're gone, so you only do it if you nap, otherwise you're sitting or standing. Uh, I could snuggle without falling asleep directly, I mean if you have a partner it can be a little bit sad for your partner if you don't snuggle for 3-4 weeks. So. Um, my skin felt better, I mean, as I had uh, with the dry eyes, you know, you normally feel it. And I was like, wow, I don't have dry eyes anymore. My skin is getting normal. It feels like I'm not sleep deprivated anymore. So I really noticed that it was changing after a while. And um, yeah, you have more time with better concentration and less, um, less sleep deprivation. So um, I think really the first adaptations, I was kind of a zombie all the time at the beginning. Then it started to, uh, that I only had problems like let's say from 8 in the evening until 12 in the noon. Then it was getting less and less time. Then I only had problems let's say from 10 to 8. Then only from 12 to 8. Then I noticed, whoa, I'm still in high concentration until 3 o'clock in the night. Read a book, work on my stuff. So it was really getting, um, yeah, all the time better, less uh, less um, sleep deprivated time. Uh, more dreams on my naps. I also noticed like my body is adjusting. Yeah, no fading out, no voices anymore, no conscious shifts anymore. I was really missing it after a while because it was always fun to make a mo uh, to make a little video and say, "Whoa, last night was really crazy," and then your video started to be well. Yeah, uh, nothing special. Yeah, mm, yeah, we ate, we went for a walk. No, but yeah, everything normal. So um, it was funny that I started to miss it then, <laughs> to have some adventure story. Um, yeah, and really, uh, I really noticed that when I was getting so used to it that I was kind of, kind of forgetting that people normally sleep eight hours a day. I, I mean, with the time, you kind of getting used to it that there are people not reachable from that kind of time, but you forget that they are sleeping at that time. So, I mean, you get your own rhythm on what you do and what time. So, uh, I was on a festival with one friend, which is also perfect time to adapt, because like normally there's 24 hour program. So, um, and I overslept like two hours, so, uh, and I get it, I was, I was still getting, and I, it's still a little, little bit like that, that I'm, when I oversleep, um, that I'm getting headache again. So um, after I overslept two hours, I was like, ah, oh, I have headache, I have back pain. Oh my god, I slept three hours. And my friend was like, oh, I only slept three hours. Oh my god. <laughs> and I was like, ah, why? But you don't have the problem. Ah, it's because you normally sleep eight hours. Ah, okay, yeah. You know, like, um, yeah. Or with some other people that said, yeah, I didn't sleep last night, so we can't meet at 10 o'clock. I said, yeah, well, why? I also didn't sleep. I mean, I take my naps, but I yeah, normally sleep eight hours, so you need to sleep now eight hours. Okay, got it. So it's, um, it's funny. So I also got some new habits. Uh, I don't have any bed anymore. <laughs> some people come to my place like, where's your bed? Like, why are you bed? No, I, I nap on my couch, you know. So... I don't need any bed anymore. Um, I really turned into a kind of liquid eater. I mean, there are also some polyphasic sleeper who are um, doing the protein thing and eating a lot of meat. I'm a vegan liquid raw eater. So at home, I'm normally only eating, no, I'm drinking orange juice, apple juice, smoothies. So <laughs> one day I was uh, cooking quinoa. I felt in the mood and someone was like, um, Someone was like, what, you're eating again? So, uh, yeah, 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 I know I don't do that, yes. Um, so I'm used to sleeping clothes, know who is when awake, know um, who's my coffee in, yeah. There are some people who is really, when they are with me, it's I'm waking up completely, it's, it's very nice. So, um, 
Yeah, I know who can stay with me on the night and for the adaptation time, who I can count on for waking up because some people say, yeah, yeah, I will wake you up and then they're sleeping. And um, getting comfortable to ask the people if I can nap at, uh, at their place. Um, I'm getting, I was getting very good on napping in the metro without missing my station. At the beginning I was missing the station and then with the time um, it was very interesting because whenever I um, when I was getting up from my nap and I was going like getting up and going out completely and the people were always like looking at me. I think it's because normally the people who are sleeping there are kind of confused or something like that. And for me it was like chick, chick and going out like completely normal. So um, yeah and you find out when stores are opening in the in the morning because you can't wait to get something more. And a very interesting, what I realized, breathing, like um, one time when I was sleep deprived, I realized how, um, what a big uh, effect it has, like to breathe very deeply, because one time I was reading a book and uh, I was so, I couldn't read anymore, everything was floating away, the, uh, the letters, and when I breathed in very deeply, like a few seconds I could read, so I was doing it all the time, it was, I really was, it was so obvious the effect of very deep breathing, so I still do that. Um, oh yeah, some ideas why it could maybe help me, because in the zombie motors you need to do things less than thinking, because you're like, oh yeah, should I do that? I just do it. So it's, uh, you really, I mean, you can't think sometimes. Some people say sleep deprivation is helping against depression. It's also a kind of shamanistic way, like um, this kind of challenge against your body and to, um, to have the discipline. Yeah, it's helping willpower discipline, makes it stronger. And you're kind of a meditation state. Um, and I finally get everything done with what I want to do, so this is really relaxing me. So. Food and sleep. So it's one other thing you need to eat after the nap. My, I think it's good to eat as light as possible. I know when I was at a kind of party with a, with a lot of food to eat, I, uh, I couldn't. I was oversleeping after. And yeah, that's also why I turned more and more into liquid because you always could drink something before instead of eating. So it was for me more practical. Yeah. Um, here are places to nap outside home. Especially in the car was quite good, but I don't have a car, so... I also um, was napping in the gym, especially at night, it's quite... Um, um, you can do it quite easily. Uh, I just fall asleep one time while I was stretching, that was not so cool. So it was like this position, and I woke up and was like, oh, damn, you know, shit. So, bench, libraries, bookstores. Um, yeah, they can be very creative. Here's uh, some issue that some people have with a boy or a girlfriend. Sometimes that's...